No, don't do this to me. <gasps> don't do this to me. Little baby. Come here, my little precious. <gasps> here, babies. There's more coming. Come here. Oh, shit. <laughs> you are just the sweetest. My little puppy. My little puppy. Okay, so I'm Miley, and I'm chilling with BuzzFeed. But more importantly, not more importantly, but kind of. I'm playing with puppies. This is the only way I do interviews these days. I tell my writer I require puppies. You love me. Sorry, baby. You want to pick one? OK, we're going to be answering some fan questions. You can sit on my lap. You want to eat my ring? You want to eat my ring? There you go. OK, what does being younger now mean to you? Well, just like these puppies, all I want to do is be with my family and be with my friends and know what's important, which is being happy. You want to pick all the questions, won't you? OK, I can't. This is the worst way to have me do an interview. I'm not leaving without this angel. OK, next. Which song from Younger Now is the most special to you? Malibu was the first song that I wrote on this record, so it's extra special to me. Hi, my angel. What has been the most inspiring to you during the creation of your new album? I wrote my new album at my studio, Rainbow Land, which is also a song that I sing with Dolly Parton. And so just being around all the colors always really inspired me. Okay. What advice would you give your 14-year-old self? Never Google yourself. I read one time that if you trust and love your decisions, the less that you care what other people think about them. So be happy with your decisions. Are your songs from Younger Now put in a specific order to tell a story or just put on the album in an order for no specific reason? Everything on the record has a reason. In Younger Now, the song, there's the sound of the river that's at my house, and then Malibu, that's where my house is, and then Rainbow Land is a studio at my house. So it's kind of like introducing people to where I made the record and was inspired by where I am and inspired by Rainbow Land. You guys are turned to the max. How did it feel to sing the song The Climb for the first time in years? Oh, as good as it feels holding my little angel. Your name is Angel. I named you Angel. That was my grandma's dog's name. When there was a tragedy in Vegas, it was so amazing to be able to sing that song and be able to make it current for what everyone needed to hear, that there's always going to be another mountain, another struggle, but it's all about the climb. That's my shirt. OK, you're getting my titties out. Come on. I have to keep the angel. Don't you think? But Liam will be so mad. Do you have any advice for young women who feel repressed when it comes to their identity? My advice would be surround yourself with friends who think like you, but also make sure you expose yourself to different types of people, but keep people around you that always lift you up and support you. You're my little friend. You're my best friend. But don't tell my other seven dogs. You know what your name is? Turnt. Because <laughs> you are turnt. If you could talk to your animals and have them understand you, what would you want to tell them? I would hope that all of them know how much that I love them, but I have no doubt in my mind that they do because I treat them better than my own family members. What's the sweetest thing a fan has ever done for you? I think my fans allowing me to have Happy Hippie and the way that they've really supported it and opened up about themselves from my charity. Angel, demon. If you weren't a singer, what would you be doing? This, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365. Your name is Hectic. Your name is Turnt. And your name is Little Angel. This was my favorite interview I've ever done, ever in the history of my life, for obvious puppy reasons. Make sure you adopt these puppies. They are all available, except maybe this one, from the North Shore Animal League America. Look at you. <gasps> Come on. Send to Liam, send to Liam. Please. Please, just a little one that's chilling.